Hey church, this is Pastor Daniel, and I'm here to join with you guys on day six of our Advent devotional. Um, As we pick up this story, this is whenever, uh, the part in the story, whenever uh, Augustus Caesar, he makes a decree where everyone has to go for the census, and as a result, Joseph and Mary, they have to go to Bethlehem because that's where um, Joseph's ancestors are from, and that's where this takes up, and let's find out what happens whenever they arrive in Bethlehem. Everyone, it seemed, had come to register. From one door to the next, the two asked for lodging, but it was obvious. No one wanted to board the dirty peasants from Galilee. One look at their dress, and that was all that it took to say no. The last door presented the same story. An old lady, the matron of the inn, greeted them with the same indifference as the others. Yes, I can see for myself that your wife is about to have a baby, but that doesn't change the fact that we have no room. Now get along with you. Tears welled up in Mary's eyes. The pain, weariness, and loneliness was too much. Her first child would be born on a street corner and not survive the night. Joseph was panicking. Oh God, he thought, please don't abandon us now. Turning to go, Joseph looked into Mary's pain-filled face. He didn't have any more answers to give. Wait a minute, you two. The faintest tone of compassion came from the doorway. Joseph turned to to face the woman who quickly glanced over her shoulder before she spoke. There's some old sheep pens out there behind the inn. You're welcome to stay up there if you want. Go around back and I'll show you the trail. Well, do you want it or not? You know, this is a busy time in the town of Bethlehem. It's an old it's an old village and it's got a lot of history there. So a lot of people were there. There's people coming from all over um, the other towns and cities to for this census. And as a result, everyone's full. It's really busy. And yet at the same time, in Luke, it says this, Luke 2, 6 through 7, And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. And the reality is that Jesus was born that night in this manger because there was no room in the inn. And it might be like like us, you know. Christmas time is a busy time. We have the hustle, the bustle, the gifts, the the parties. We have all kinds of things going on. And sometimes there's just no room for Jesus. And it oftentimes reminds me of Genesis and the chaos that was there in the void and the nothingness. And then Jesus shows up. God shows up. It's a lot like Bethlehem. All the people going around trying to do this census. And then Jesus shows up. And it can be the same for you and I. And my prayer for for us is that during this busy time that God would just show up in the midst of all the craziness and that he would bring his presence and peace into our lives.